Chapter 7 of the 2020 World Migration Report focuses on migration and health. This chapter, that I co-author with Charles Hui and Kalitha Wick Ramajay, explores current issues, governance and knowledge gaps in the field of migration and health. In the chapter, we examine four key aspects, and this is the way that we've structured the chapter. Firstly, we look at migrant health, which we define as the differences in health found between migrants and populations at both origin and destination, as well as across different migration settings. So thinking about differences between, for example, labour migrants, international and internal displacement, or perhaps those with an irregular documentation status. Secondly, we consider public health, focusing on the ways in which migration may affect the health of populations. This includes the ways in which healthy migrants can promote social and economic development and progress towards global targets such as those of universal health coverage. Thirdly, we look at systems responses to migration and health. Here we look at the development of migrant sensitive healthcare responses, but in this we include looking at what we frame as migration aware and mobility competent health system responses. This, we argue, would call for a migration and health in all policies approach, um, which could be used to address the health needs of, of people on the move. Fourthly and finally, we look at global governance of migration and health. So here we focus on the ways in which migration and health can and should be mainstreamed into global governance processes, um, and we identify some strategic opportunities to do so.